how's it going on guys so in this video we'll discuss about this problem sort colors so in this question we will be given an array consisting of 0 1 and 2 and we have to sort this array so if we are given something like this the output is going to be something like this now the first thing that comes to our mind is what we can do is we can simply use arrays.sort but it is given to us that you're not supposed to use library sort function for this problem one more thing if you're using arrays.sort the time complexity is going to be n log n but actually this question can be done in complexity o n so let us see how so this is going to be a tricky algorithm so just bear with me for some time i'll try to explain you in the best possible way i can so here we will be having three indices that is low mid and high and we want to break the array in four zones or four regions namely from zero to low minus one we will be having all zeros from low to mid minus one we want to have all ones from mid to high we will be having unknowns that is the value can be zero or one or two and finally from high plus one to n minus one we want to have all twos so if you see we want to break the array in something like this that is from zero to low minus one all zeros from low to mid minus one all ones from mid to high unknown values that is zero or one or two and from high plus one to n minus one all twos now if we are if we are able to break the array in this format then actually we can use some algorithm to sort this array in on complexity so let us see now how now actually if you see from mid to high we are having unknowns so we are going to write a loop from mid to high now for this value that is nums of mid there can exist only three cases either this value can be zero or one or two so let us consider all these three cases now now in case this value is zero what we can do is we can swap the low and mid and we can simply increment low and mid so if you do something like this then you will be over here so what i'm saying is if suppose this value is zero so i'll swap this value one with this value zero so here we have initially we have three zeros so we will have four zeros and we had three ones so we still have three ones because this zero goes from here to here and this one will come from here to here so we still have three ones and now we will increment low by one and mid by one so in so after the exchange this will be zero so low will point to the next index which is also one and mid will increment to one so it will point to the unknown value again correct so if you see we are able to after the process even after processing this mid value what we are able to achieve is we, the array still by into four regions that's what we want so we can do something like this now in case nums of mid equal equal one so in case this value is one we can simply increment mid so we will be left with something like this so actually this from here we are coming over here correct so what I'm saying is, if suppose this value is one, we can simply increment mid by one. So we'll be left with something like this. So if you see, we are able to still consider four regions, means still there exist four regions in the array. We are able to achieve those things, correct? So at any point, we have to make sure that the array is divided in these four regions. And in case, if you see the nums mid, nums mid is two. So in case this value is two, we will what we will do is we will swap mid with high and we will decrement high so what i'm saying is if suppose this value is 2 this value and this value are going to get exchanged and we will decrement high by 1 now you might think that why why are we not incrementing mid by 1 so we are incrementing mid by 1 in case 1 why we're not incrementing mid in this case reason being this is an unknown value when this case was there when case 1 is there we were sure that this value is 0 so this value is one so we are sure that this value is one so in case this value is one we were able to increment mid by one now in this case when nums of mid equal equal two what we know is this value is two so we will exchange this value or swap this value so two comes over here and this question mark value comes over here so this value can be zero or one or two so we cannot do any change to mid but we can decrement high so that's why we are decrementing high so i guess that's it so if you see this is the algorithm for this problem so initially we will be having three pointers low mid and high having values 0 0 and n minus 1 and we will be running a loop from mid to high and we will be following 
the algorithm that I just discussed. Now, one more thing that I have to that I want to discuss over here is, I am saying that if we are able to break this array into this format, then yes, we are able to solve this problem. But how are we able to break the array into this? Actually, if you see carefully, on applying the same algorithm, we will be able to break the array in this format. So let us try to debug this with the help of an example. So I have taken a general example over here. So this is the array I have taken. Correct. So initially low will be 0, mid will be 0 and high will be n minus 1. Now if you see the value at mid is 2. Now what we do in case the value is 2, we will swap the value at mid and high and we will decrement high by 1. So it is given over here. So if you do something like this, then this value is 2 and this value is 1. So after swapping, this value becomes 1 and this value becomes 2 and we will decrement high by 1. So high comes over here. In the next iteration, this value is 1. So what we do in case the value is 1, in case the mid value is 1, we will simply increment mid by 1. So mid will come from here to the next index that is over here and everything remains same. Now over here as well mid is pointing to the value 1. So we will simply increment mid by 1. So now situation will be something like this. Now in here the value is 0. So in 0 what we do, I written over, over here, we will simply swap low and mid and we will increment both by 1. So we work over here. So we will simply swap this value 0 and 1. So 0 comes over here and 1 comes over here and we will increment low and mid by 1. Now if you see carefully, this array can be written something like this. What I am saying is, what I wanted, I wanted the array to be broken into 4 parts. From 0 to L, low minus 1, we will be having all zeros. So if you see, we are having all zeros. From low to mid minus 1, we, we want to have all 1s. From mid to high, I have unknowns and from high plus 1 to n I have all 2's. So if you see this is same as something like this that I wanted. So in case we were able to break our error into this we, we know how to solve this problem. So I guess that's it from the explanation part. Now let the code for this and then things will be more clear. So what I will do is I will keep two three pointers low which is 0 mid which is 0 and high which is equals to nums dot length minus 1. I will run a loop while mid is less than equals to high. Why from mid to high because we have unknowns from mid to high. Now there are three cases in case nums of mid equal equal 0 else if nums of mid equal equal 1 and else nums of mid equal equal to. Now let me write a swap function as well. So our swap function what we will do is we will have a public void swap method in which we will take the array and two indices. So in here we will simply do int temp equals nums of i nums of i equals nums of j and nums of j equals temp. Now we have already discussed all these three conditions in case nums of mid equal equals 0 what we have to do is we have to call swap for low comma mid and then we have to increment both low and mid. So actually I can increment over here only. In case nums of mid equal equal 1 we have to simply increment mid by 1 and in case it is 2 we have to swap nums of mid with nums of high and we have to decrement high by 1. So I guess that's it. Let me submit this code once. So it's giving the correct result. So I guess that's it from this video. In case you have learned anything from this video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel.